Hello, hello everyone. How are you guys doing today? So today I'm going to show you how to uh, make a little bit of pocket and a little bit of square and a little bit of hole around the corner. So we're going to drill all the way out using a quarter inch tool, a half inch tool, and a quarter inch drill. Okay. And other than that, I'm going to show you how to uh, uh, put a file. Okay. I'm going to say a post to your file. So that way, when you need something for your file, you can just go ahead and click and get it and put it into a machine and you can run and save a file, okay? I'm gonna show you how to do that also. So let's go to our uh, MasterCam 9 and uh, start uh, making up our project, okay? Let's go to our MasterCam 9 and go ahead and click uh, Main Menu. Go ahead and click on Create at one point, okay? Go ahead and click on Main Menu, Create, Rectangle. And one point, we're gonna use 48 by 90. And click on this corner right here and click OK. Drag all the way to the bottom left right here and click it. Click Escape. All F1, put in the screen in the middle. Okay, now we go back to main menu and go ahead and click on Create Rectangle again, use one point. We're gonna use 40 by 40. Then we're gonna put in the middle right here and then click okay. Right here, click escape. Go ahead to main menu and go ahead and click on export. Let's go to offset and we're gonna click on copy here. And offset distance, you're gonna click on four inches. Okay, I'm gonna click okay, all four corners. One, two, three, and four. Now we we'll go back to main menu Go ahead and click create. We're gonna click on arc. And we're gonna go to a so good point diameter. Okay, then we have the 40 inches and we take away four, four inches on each side. Okay, we have 32 inch left diameter. Go ahead and put 32 inches and click enter. Line up in the middle right here. Okay, and that's about right. Go ahead and click it, click escape. Now we go back to so good point diameter. And this time we're gonna make it a two inch round, okay? Go ahead and click enter. We're gonna put all these four corners right here. Got one here, two, three, and four. Click escape. Okay. Now we got our small circle and a big circle, okay? And we have all rectangle. Go ahead and come back on the top, click on delete. We're gonna delete four lines. One, two, three, and four, okay? Now, we gotta go back to our main menu. We're gonna click on two pad, okay? And then we're gonna click on drill, okay? And then we click on manual, and we're gonna click on center. Okay, one right here, go ahead and click on center again. That's two, center three, center, and four. Then click escape, and go ahead and click done. Go over here to our tool library and right click. Get our tool from our library. We're gonna go to 104. Now 104, that's the uh, quarter in drill. And right here, and click okay. Then we have Tool number one, a quarter inch drill, right? A quarter. So we're gonna change the spin speed to 2000. Okay. Then we're gonna select right here, simple drill, no tech. And select right on the clean right here, make sure it's enough height. You don't wanna scratch your port. The top of stock, we're running a three quarter inch material. Go ahead and put 0.75. And the depth, we're gonna drill all the way through. So go ahead and put negative 0.76. Okay, and the cycle right here, we're gonna click on it. We're gonna use the peg drill, okay? Select that. And then click okay. You got one, two, three, four. Now we go to contour. We're gonna go back, we gotta go to pocket. Okay, we're gonna click right here. This pocket right, we're gonna do a pocket on the circle. Okay, and click done. Come back to our tool library again and right click. 
get a tool from our library. This one is going to be a tool number two, and the tool stage is going to be a quarter inch tool material. A quarter inch tool. Okay, let's go to uh, 235. Number 235. Okay, right here. Quarter inch flat end mill. Go ahead and click OK. Okay, right here, tool number two, quarter inch flat. We're going to change the feed rate, the plunge rate, and retract the rate to 9.0. And on the spindle speed, we're going to change it to 2,000. Okay. And then we're going to turn the coolant to float. Okay. And then on the common right here is our first. See? Put that. And then we're going to go to a pocket parameter. Okay. We're going to drill all the way through. Negative point seventy six, and then on this right here, tip conversation, we're gonna put on center, and then the sharp tool, we're gonna put none, okay. And then create additional finish operation. You wanna put, check on that. Then we're gonna go over here on the top, roughing finish parameter. We're gonna use the parallel spiral. Click on that. Then we come down this way, we're gonna check on spiral inside to outside, okay? Make the check mark right there. And minimize tool bear to make the check mark on that. And then on the computer right here, we're gonna use where to make the check mark on that. And then we're gonna click okay. Okay, that's how it looks like. Now we go to contour and we're gonna cut it out. So we're gonna use right here, highlight it and click on it. Or oh, rectangle right here. We have Cut it and now click done. Back to all tool library again. Right click, get the tool from our library. This time we're going to use a tool number 239, which is a half inch flat end mill. Okay, go almost all the way down. Right here, 239, a half inch flat end mill. Click OK. The tool number three, half inch flat. We're going to change the feed rate, plunge rate, and retract the rate. Gonna change that to 8.0. Then on the spindle speed right here, we're gonna put 2,000. Okay. And then comment right here, we're gonna put finish. Okay. And then we're gonna turn our coolant on. Go to flood, and we click on OK. Okay, gotta put this first. Uh, the depth is gonna be negative 0.25. Okay, and then our composition type, we gotta put weir. The left right here is good. And the tip composition right here, we're gonna put center. And then all, okay, that's good. And then we're gonna click okay. Now we go to operation. We're gonna select all and verify. And go ahead and click on start button. That's our drill working on it. This is our pocket. It is what it looks like, 32 inch diameter. Now on this one, I mean, you can do, you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller, it's up to you guys. Just make sure you guys use the right tool, okay? Because if you using a small, really, really small tool, it will break. Just make sure you have enough, uh, the right tool for the material, okay? Okay, now we're gonna go to, uh, select all, we're gonna post this to our machine. So that way you can save the file so you can run it, okay? So we're going to select all, and we're gonna post. Okay, we're gonna check mark right here, save to NCI file, and we also can edit. Okay, we save file and we can also can edit, and then click OK here. Okay, then we're gonna, I'm gonna put program test one. 
Okay. Yeah, I'm going to click save. Yeah, this is what it looks like. Go for test two. See how it looks. Right here. The program name test two that we have on there. Okay. So you save this on your file. When you open it up, the file you can get from this. And then you can send it to your machine and you can run it. Okay. So this is your tool that what we use. It's got a coding drill right here, for example. And right here is the, the program number and all the Z and the encode, what you use, okay? And that, that, is, that is it, guys. That's all I have for today. And uh, I hope you guys like this video. And uh, if you guys like this video, please uh, share and like and subscribe to my channel. And other than that, that's all I have. I'll see you next time, guys. And you guys have a wonderful day, okay?